Hello, welcome to Healthy Hands for Harmony. Uh, my name is Dr. Brian Royer, and today we're going to talk about breathing. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is doing a breath hold. And when we do a breath hold, basically for this we're going to be trying to take a breath in as much as we possibly can and hold it for as long as possible. And again, when you do this, this would be something that you'd need to have a stopwatch for. So you can either get out your phone or if you have an actual stopwatch, and then basically you want to time yourself. And the way that you're going to do it is you're going to take a big deep breath in, you're going to take a breath out, and then you're going to take another big deep breath in, and the second time you're going to hold your breath for as long as you possibly can. So again, you would clamp down on your nose, you would hold it, and then you're going to basically struggle to hold it as long as you possibly can. Again, you take the deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, and on that second deep breath in, basically you're going to hold onto your nose and you're going to time it from once you get to that full inspiration, and you're going to see from there. You should be able to hold that for at least 35 seconds. If you hold it for less than that, then you probably have something that's going on, but ideally you want to be able to hold that for 60 seconds. So that's something that can give you an idea. If you're in between that 35 to 60 second kind of window, then there's probably some things that you can do in order to improve your breath and you know, just by doing some breath training. So when it comes down to it, the way to assess whether or not someone's breathing correctly is to take a look at and see them actually watch them breathe. So this is something that you can do to yourself. So go ahead and uh, bring your legs up. So you just want your knees bent just so you can take a little bit of like the curve out of the low back a little bit. And then go ahead and put your hand on your belly and the other hand on your chest. And then this is going to be something that you're going to do just to be able to see what's going on. So first thing is, is that just go ahead and take a big breath in for me. And blow it out. Good. Go ahead and do it again. And out. Now again, you'll notice that when she's doing it again, she's breathing more with her chest. Again, technically this would be something that would be not what you want. You don't want the chest to be dominant when it comes to breathing. You want the belly to be dominant. The other thing that you're looking at is that you're looking to see whether or not you have a paradoxical breathing. So sometimes people can actually breathe in, and when they breathe in, their belly will actually sink in. And that's not what we want. We don't want the chest expanding and the belly coming in. So again, we'll have her go ahead and breathe in again. Just a normal breath. And out. Good. And again, you can see that there's more chest movement than there is belly movement. So the way that you would try to work on this, and then there's multiple different steps to this, and we'll show a different one here in a second. But what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and just try to breathe in just with your belly. Hold on to your chest and just try to tighten up your chest and make it so that your chest isn't moving. And go ahead and blow it out. Excellent. Good. Now go ahead and take another breath in just with the chest and not with the belly. Again, you can see the difference that's there. Go ahead and let it go. And when you're really trying to do this is that you want to actually get a full breath in and you want to get all three areas, the belly, the chest, and actually the back should be able to expand and do a breath as well. And that's a little bit more advanced. But we'll have you go ahead and do another one. This time I want you to breathe in with the belly as far as you can. And then breathe in with the chest and expand as far as you possibly can with everything. Good. And then go ahead and blow it all out. Good. So that's the general way. One of the ways that sometimes it can actually be something that you can do to, to, to change it is that sometimes people actually have an issue with that. So we'll actually have you flip over and go face down. Sometimes when people have a hard time doing the other one, this is another one that you can do. So go ahead and just take a normal breath like you were breathing before. And, okay. So that normal big breath with the belly, go ahead and breathe in with the belly. And again, you can see that moving in through here. And when you do that, again, you can feel your belly going into the, into the table, right? Yeah. So this is something you can feel when you're going face down. Um, again, go ahead and try to take a breath in with the chest. And again, this is another way that you can actually kind of take a look. Again, you should be breathing more with the belly or more with the lower back and less with the chest. That shouldn't be dominant. The thoracic spine shouldn't be dominant when you do this. So this is one of the different examples of how you can assess for breathing. And from here, again, it's trying to work on making the abdominal area be more dominant when it actually comes to taking in breaths. 
Thanks for watching.